What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Coming at you today with a another Alliance War gameplay video. And um, yes, I am a, <laughs> I am sorry, as you can see here, I screwed up the recording. Uh, on Reflector, there's an option um, to show the, the border, the frame of the uh, phone. And I'm always usually pretty good about turning that off and I forgot to do it. So uh, it's not like this is the whole video. Uh, I realize what I have done after the first fight is over. So uh, I, I apologize and bear with me. It'll be uh, it'll be finished once I get through this first fight. Uh, the alliance that we're up against, um, as you saw there at the beginning, I think it's a 7.6 million. Jens Cornelia, I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Shout out to you guys if anybody's watching. Pretty evenly matched alliance war. I think we were within uh, two points as far as alliance rating of each other. Um, first character here, and I uh, was kind of expecting this uh, to be an Ultron, and it was. Um, I did bring in Scarlet Witch, uh, Doctor Strange, and Daredevil, uh, because I've always got to deal with that uh, unblockable S2. I've always got to bring Daredevil in. Otherwise, I probably uh, would bring in either my Captain America or my Black Widow, but uh, this seems to be a combination that's working for me right now. And... Uh, <laughs> Right there, I I was tapping the attack button way too fast and managed to um, put her into a heavy attack by accident there, and uh, that's when he got a few hits in. But other than that, I am able to uh, take him out fairly easily. This is the, uh, the power gain node, or I guess not power gain, um, strike back, is that what it is? I, I can't remember the wording. Anyway, if you use an attack, a special attack, they gain one bar of power. So finish that off real quick. I think I am able to. Uh, I realize what's happened here, <laughs> and I jump out and jump back in. Uh, my teammate took out uh, that uh, previous node there for me. I am assuming that this is going to be Doctor Strange. It almost always is, and it's not. It's a Venom. I haven't seen a Venom in ages, which uh, I was actually kind of excited about. But uh, as this fight progresses, uh, progresses it. It really didn't go my way. <laughs> uh, he starts off, as you can see there, uh, because he gains the random buffs, he gets two physical resistance buffs back to back, um, which if you if you can see the damage that I'm putting out, it's almost nothing. Uh, I'm doing like two to 300, 600 on crits. Um, you know, that special right there should have been critting for, you know, 3,000 or more, and uh, I was getting like 1,000. Uh, he gets a third physical resistance there, so this this just ends up being a really long fight. Um, right here, I'm trying to bait him into his S1, and he ends up backing me into corner, which he's got the crit buff there, so he hits me pretty hard. Uh, at this point, I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to block that, which I do, thankfully. Um, but he's just, he's really, really pouring on the damage. He's a very aggressive character, and uh, if you're not used to playing him, his animations can really throw you off. Again, right there, just don't put a whole lot of damage on him. Um, trying to push him as far back as I can to get myself some space there. His S2 um, is really fairly simple to, to block, even though this is un, uh, an unblockable S2. Uh, if you just evade the first part of that where he jumps at you and then block the rest, you'll be totally fine. Um, maybe you'll get luckier than I am if you're up against him and uh, won't have so many physical resistance buffs. I take a gamble right there thinking I can take him out and I just have to eat another S2 and finally get rid of him. Venom's a cool character. I usually take him in on my Alliance War defense as well. Um, so I jumped out, came back in maybe a few hours later and we have another Ultron. This is the, uh, I don't know, the Alliance War of Ultrons, I guess. Which this is the Stun Immune Ultron which I, I really played pretty well on this one. I think he does manage to clip me once or twice. Um, but what you'll see, and I, I, I don't mean to spoil anything, but I play really well against this Ultron, and then I manage to fight another one, and I don't play so well. <laughs> so it, it's kind of... Uh, I, I, I play back-to-back -back really well and give you a perfect example, and then give you a really poor example that I follow up with. The, the biggest thing for the Stun Immune Ultron here is... Um, and I, I do use uh, quite a bit of time hitting him while he's blocking just to push him into his S1. The thing that you have to remember here, and you just saw it, uh, is if you do hit him with a special, he's going to get another bar of power. Um, so do be very careful um, when you are using your specials. You really, you 
really do not want to push him into his S2. Um, he can put a lot of damage on you, even if you think you can evade it. Um, it's probably about 50-50 there. Um, do a pretty good job of intercepting. Um, I've, I've fought a lot of Ultrons uh, in my Alliance War days, and I'm fairly familiar and comfortable with his animation set. Um, yep, right there. That's really all you need to do is just kind of wait for your openings, uh, whether that be when he's giving a heavy attack or when he's doing a special one. Uh, I'll let you watch the end of the fight. I'll jump back uh, at the end as we go into the next fight. And we take him out there. So I usually I go up, um, you know, after the next unblockable S1, and it's usually magic. And my teammate went up, so that means I can go to a node I usually don't, which I was actually fairly excited about. I had to even check it; I wasn't sure what it was. Basically, it just generates um, power uh, when they hit a, a block target. I had no idea who it was going to be, and it was Ultron again, which I had mentioned earlier. And I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be super easy. I just did an unblockable, stun immune, I mean, Ultron. Um, and I play super aggressive here. I'm basically parrying every single attack that I can, um, pushing to try to get some stuns on him and pouring as much damage as I can. The problem is, and you should never do this, do not back Ultron or Nightcrawler or Spider-Man or anyone that can evade all the way back into the corner. Because when they evade back just like that, they have nowhere to go and they just hit you right in the face. Um, that was the beginning of my problems and here I'm thinking I'm pretty good. I've got a stun on him um, and I don't know what happened there. He managed to clip me. I, I, uh, I try to evade this and just like that I go from full health to nothing. And it gets worse. I'm not going to lie. I didn't cut this out. <laughs> I thought about not showing it to you. Uh, yeah, he, he takes out my Daredevil. I did almost nothing to him. Uh, bring in my Doctor Strange. With, this is such a long fight. I think I had like 60 hits on him. And he takes me out. So, unfortunately, I play terrible. This is such an easy node. And I gave him three kills. And had to blow units on a revive. So... I put it in there because I, I didn't want you guys to think that I'm like a perfect player. I'm, I'm going to show you the good and the bad. I'm just like anybody else. Uh, and, and I made some, some key mistakes there that I should have never made with, with Scarlet Witch at the beginning. Uh, this is a heal block fight. I'm assuming that it's probably either Electro. Um, that, I mean, that this is who I assumed it would be. It turns out to be an A-bomb, which, I mean... This fight is just a race against the clock, basically, with heal block on. Uh, thankfully, he is fairly squishy for a big guy. I'm able to get a fury buff, two fury buffs, and a crit buff right there. Um, so I was putting fairly decent damage into him. Uh, that's an 11k S2. And I'm able to finish him off uh, right there, which is a good thing. I, I think I had two or three poison uh, debuffs on me. It wouldn't have lasted much longer. At this point, there's only about an hour left in the fight. I jump over to my Alliance War defense just to take a look around. Uh, and I want to draw your attention here to my Black Panther. Which, this poor guy, he's the only one over there. Um, this is my public service announcement for the day. Uh, my Black Panther, not even at half health, has got seven kills on the same guy. If you do not know <laughs> how to kill Black Panther, or anybody for that matter... Do not keep running in there and giving the other team free kills, which I'll take them all day. Um, but but when you're in a competitive fight against uh, an alliance of equal, you know, of equal alliance war rating of equal skill, you want to give them as few a few kills as possible. And clearly, this guy does not know what he's doing, uh, and he is just giving up easy kills. At this point, it's fairly obvious that we are not going to be able um, to get this uh, Mordo down in the middle. So I've got fingers crossed, hoping that it's another Ultron, and it's not. Which um, I, I knew as soon as I saw this that 
it didn't matter how much damage I was doing because every debuff that I put on him, uh, he's going to be regenning um, several hundred um, HP, far more than I can I can do in damage. And as you'll see here, um, yeah, even even with one there, he's he's was that 709 he's ticking for, <laughs> which is it's just. It's inevitable. Uh, I'm just messing around at this point, just seeing how many hits I can get on him. Um, being kind of overly aggressive here, he's ticking at 848 there with two, and uh, he finishes me off, which is fine. Um, probably shouldn't have given him the kill, but uh, fingers crossed. All right, at this point, uh, we've got six seconds left. As you can see, we are completely even at 55% exploration on both sides, so ultimately, uh, probably he's just going to go down to whoever uh, got the most kills. Um, so I'm loading up here, and there you go, you got the victory. Uh, 74,000 to 72,000, uh, just within 2,000 points. It said, as you can see, there are defender kills. Um, so we killed them 23 more times than they killed us, and that was 2,000 points right there. Uh, that's why, like I said earlier, you don't uh, you don't want to give up uh, any unneeded deaths, even though I <laughs> I gave them more than my fair share. Uh, then did end up at number three overall. Uh, just looking through the leaderboard, I was actually trying to see where Gravender and uh, was at uh, because he was number one last time I did a video like this. He's at 29 there, and uh, I take a screenshot uh, just so I can troll him a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send him that to bug him. Alright guys, well, I appreciate you taking the time uh, to watch this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I try to get up videos uh, at least once a day, if not every other day uh, at the very least. If you any questions, leave them in the comment section. Hit me up on Twitter. I'd love to talk to you guys, answer any questions you have. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.